Hello, I just want to quickly let you know before the video, if you would like to get access to Steam Weedle just before launch, um, I have included a Google form in the description below. Just give me your email, I can send out email invites as soon as we get the first working version. And yeah, I would love to get people on to be the first beta testers, bugs and all. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hello there. I'm just back for a quick video to give you a small update on where the Steam Weedle game is at and just to show you some of the stuff we've been working on. So the major thing in this update is, well there's two things really, one is the UI, uh, the UI has been completely overhauled to make it uh, vastly more mobile friendly and kind of mobile ready. And the second thing is we have actually added in a basic price adjuster. So the price adjuster basically runs the economy of the game. So that is very important. The UI is also very important because we wanted to target mobile devices. Well, I say that this isn't like a do you guys not have phones sort of situation. But what we was thinking is the game is probably more likely to be accessed by a, by a mobile device because it's one of those games that you would check um, little and often. Like it's not a game that you're gonna sit there on for five hours. It's probably something you're gonna check two or three times a day just to see how your things are performing and things like that. So primarily if you're not in the house you're gonna be doing that on a mobile device. So it needs to at least be a, a semi-decent experience on mobile. That was the thinking basically. Um, so yeah it's been completely overhauled to actually work on mobile now which is uh, absolutely fantastic. Now I'm just going to buy a couple of items here because what I want to show you is the price adjustment and kind of the way we've gone about doing it and how risks actually factor into this. So what I've done here is I'm, I'm buying three different risk bands. Um, the blue one is very low, the green is low and I believe orange is high. There's also yellow which is um, medium risk and I think there's also a very high one which is dark red. So I've got a special um, program that basically runs the adjuster as if people were continuously uh, buying more and more of an item over the course of an hour. So essentially what, the, what I've just done here is I've adjusted the prices to show that over the course of an hour the price has just been going up as if it was consistently being bought basically and, and as if it was not being sold at all. So what you'll see which is particularly interesting is that depending on the risk band, the price increase is different. So Peace Bloom being the lowest risk only has a 6% increase in value. And as you can see, individually on an item that only equates to about 12 copper, which is neither here nor there really. I mean, it's a small amount, but if you had a lot of stock, as Peace Bloom is pretty cheap, um, you can imagine that you could potentially stand to make a fair bit of money on this. So that's Peace Bloom. If we have a look at Strange Dust, because it is in a slightly higher risk band, the swing is actually slightly more, so it's got an extra 1.2% swing on that at 7 2 And uh, yeah, so that's that's what the colour basically denotes next to the category. And then if we go to thick leather, because that is high risk, that has gone up a whopping 61.4%. So the thinking behind high risk items is, yes they can go up quite a lot in a short amount of time, but they can also go down very quickly as well. So. If you'll have high risk items, you need to be more on the ball. You probably need to be checking a lot more often to try and kind of sell them when they've just hit the peak because they can go down very, very quickly. Um, and the adjustment is gonna be done every five minutes, um, potentially quicker. So we just wanna kind of, you know, make you aware if you're buying high risk items, you need to be really on the ball. You probably need to be checking a lot. Low risk items are really solid investments if you just wanna have something tick over and gradually, hopefully increase over time. So what I've done here is I've just run the price adjuster as if it's now five hours of continuous buying. So you can see here thick leather has gone up a significant amount, obviously it's high risk. Strange dust, again, like th even though it's a low risk item, a 36% increase is pretty significant. I'm just showing here as well, we added a 5% auction house cut as well. So basically this is, this is <clears throat> essentially a very simple anti-cheat uh, technique because well the the other au the auction had a cut anyway um so we thought it was kind of only fair to add it in but basically it stops people like micro buying and micro selling um, which is just generally bad for the economy um what i'm going to show you is also how selling things can give you experience so we added a level system and for every bit of profit you get experience so you'll see here 
I go to sell some thick leather and I will level up. Also a very satisfying level up sound, um, so we basically wanted to try and keep as many of the sounds from the game in as possible. I absolutely love that level up thing sound, it's, yeah, it's awesome. So basically what levels will do is they will, we haven't added them in yet, but there's a feature we want to add called holdings. And they will essentially allow you to purchase holdings of higher levels. And holdings grant you all sorts of cool bonuses to the way you interact with the auction house. So they're definitely worth looking at and levels will play kind of an essential part of you being able to actually buy um, holdings of different levels and things like that. The vault isn't implemented yet, we're not sure whether to keep it or sling it for the first version, we'll just kind of see if we can make something of it. That's it for this update, if you enjoyed the video please leave a comment, if you want to see more of these subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.